Golden State Warriors are willing to trade Jonathan Kaminga for a first round pick. This also comes from Draft Express. I don't know if the rumor is the Pistons trading the fifth pick for Kaminga, but let's just hear what you guys think about this trade. The Pistons offer the fifth pick. They bring in Kaminga. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What is what is the allure to Jonathan Kaminga trading the fifth pick? And I'll turn it over to you, Armand. What are your thoughts on this? I would I would dislike that completely. Um, and I'm, I think Kaminga is still a raw product with, you know, two to three years of improving. Um, I just didn't think we saw a jump necessarily from year one to year two. Uh, there were some aspects of the game he improved on. But at the end of the day, uh, he's still a, kind of, in, in a sense, he's still a project and still has years to go, where he's really that kind of what they believe in all-star caliber talent. And I don't know, it's just you look at five and you, you have a guy like Jairus Walker, who I think comes in and brings a lot more production than you get out of Kaminga. And then even then you throw in Kaminga, who's a, amazing athlete, but you can also say Cam Whitmore is in that same sense where he's an explosive first step and a vertical threat. So I don't really see why we would trade out of five. I think Kaminga's value is past that now. That was maybe back in 2021, but now it's two years in advance and he hasn't gotten much better since he was a rookie. So I don't know if that, that would happen. I would very, I would be very, very mad and disappointed. But again, I think if it's, if it's a, if it's a trade for Kaminga, if we get nine and sixteen, I'm I'm saying I'm just theoretically. If we get nine and sixteen, I, I kind of see Warriors making maybe like sixteen and Boyan, but that's that's gonna. It's a little harder process that the, the whole details for that. But I don't know. Five, no way for me. Yeah, I um when I've watched Jonathan Kaminga, there's some plays where he just blows your mind. Where you're like, wow, if this dude could put it all together, he would be a pretty solid player. I think he's going to be in the NBA for a long time. I don't see multiple time all-star like some people like to throw out i don't see that from him i just think he's going to be a solid rotation and role player for whatever and i guess maybe you could correct me if i'm wrong but like when i watch him play i don't see any real elite skills that separate him from anybody else you know like he's a great athlete but he's not a great rebounder he's not a great scorer He's not great on defense. He's good at a lot of things. He's just not great in any area. Or am I missing something with Jonathan Kaminga? No, I'm with you. He's he's just he's just kind of a guy who's got the athletic tools that most players don't have. You can't teach that stuff. Yeah. But at the same time, he's you know not not great at much things. And you know his shooting, it did improve a little bit this year. But it's not an it's not a elite catch and shoot guy. He's, he's you're never gonna play him off a of movement shooting. Uh, he's not the greatest, you know, space creator or, or and his best his best trace on offense comes from him being a athletic uh, athletic monster, just cutting and you know dunking and finishing around the rim through contact. He's he's got those type of things, but as a creator and stuff like that, stuff guy stuff you want your guy like Kaminga in order to be an all star to me at least, he would have to improve the his own handle, his his ability to create for himself and not rely on others. Uh, to get him a shot. So I don't know. I'm not really sold on coming in. I don't know. He's just, uh, he's still, he's still a little bit of a upside guy right now. For sure. It would be kind of cool to see him in that Hami do role of they used Hami this past season though, kind of as like that, that athletic big, just find him in that dunker spot. That would, I could see that working with Jonathan Kaminga here, but again, for the fifth pick, I would pass. But what about you, Anthony? It, it's funny. Because I remember the draft process for uh, his draft, and people are labeling him as the next Jalen Brown. I don't know if you guys remember that. Everyone's saying this guy's the yeah, next Jalen Brown. I remember Brown. that. I, I think the Warriors, they just want vets. I, I think they, they tried the, the young guy experiments. I mean, they traded James Wiseman to us. They basically told everyone, hey, we, we want to get rid of Kaminga. I, I think his value is pretty low. Um, to both of your guys' point, I think. He needs another two years to develop. I think he needs G League time, personally. I, I think, you know, the spending some time in the G League, you know, this per, you know perfecting his craft, I think would be great for him. Um, because I, I, I just think if you give him any kind of NBA minutes, I think he's going to make a lot of mistakes because he just doesn't have the, the reps or the experience, um, much like James Wiseman. I think he's a good player. I'm not trading five for him. To uh, Armand's point, Juris Walker. To me, I think he's one of the better defenders in this whole draft class. And I think he's a day one contributor. Uh, Cam Whitmore. 
guy jumps out of the gym. I mean, I, I feel like Cam Whitmore offensively has a deeper bag than Jonathan Kaminga right now. Um, I mean, you could even talk about other players like I think Anthony Black and him. I, I would probably rate Anthony Black a little bit higher than Jonathan Kaminga right now. It's just he just needs a whole lot of reps. And I, I think if you were to trade for him, you're not trading a first round pick. I don't think there's going to be a team that would kind of take a flyer on him just because it's just such an unknown and a question mark right now. We'll